what is up? I thought I'd do a face cam for one of my videos, so yeah, here it goes. Uh, I know my dock at the bottom looks a little weird. I did care, care real dock, I think it's called. And then I tried to do docky and get rid of Cario dock and it didn't work. So now I have two docks down there and I just have to deal with it for now until I figure out how. So let's get right into this. This is a video on um, how to get Mac Boom 2 the easy way instead of doing it manually and going through the terminal. So what you want to do is go into your web browser. And this... For Unity, it'll work better. Sorry, let me move this. It's not covering my face. For Unity, it'll work better. But for now, I have GNOME, and so I know the dock at the bottom. It's really annoying. But for now, I just have to deal with the GNOME and not being able to get the indicator synapses up there. So um, you're just going to want to search Mac Boom 2. Just Google it or something. Um, the first link that comes up, you can click, and then you just download it, so it'll be a tar.gz file. So once you download it, um, I did this on my Chromebook, like a lot of you guys know, so when I, um, it, mine only came with Xterm, so you have to go into the Ubuntu Software Center and download Terminal. So, pretty much just open your terminal, and, um, once you do that, go into your files, so once you're in your files, you're going to see the Macbuntu 10.10 tar gz, so you're going to extract that, and you'll have a file like this. So, it'll have the install sh file. What you want to do is you're going to double click into the readme because if you take this install sh and do this and just drag and drop and click enter, it'll say permission denied and then I'll try slash dot. And I, I've never tried this yet, but so I'm going to close that for now. Install dot sh um, force I don't know if this will do it but I'll try and then click enter yeah see it'll say no such file or directory so just open the readme to 10.10. I'm going to go into the readme. And my bad. you're just going to scroll down until you see the, the command. The This is a command line terminal, a way to install it. So you're just going to copy this. And the only reason you need to get the terminal from the Ubuntu Software Center is because if you don't, um, you can't copy and paste in it with the X term. So you're just going to paste it and click enter or it does it for you automatically. Once you do that, it'll start going and you can just choose. It'll ask you some questions and um, ask you stuff. But I'm pretty sure that if you just drag and drop the install H file, it'll say permission denied no matter what you're on because I'm on 13.04. And so I'm guessing if it's from here on to any later updates like 13.10 and then I think soon to come like 14.04 or something like that like trusty but yeah I think it'll probably do that same thing so it'll just ask you a bunch of questions and I've already done it so I'm not gonna and it'll just ask you what you want to do and you can choose it explains everything going through the process but um pretty much
much that's it and if you want to un uninstall it uh, just go into the readme and go to the uninstaller um, I, cause I don't think this works either dragging that in there no okay yeah so pretty much that's it for this video and it'll download Karyo Doc right away and it'll download what I'm using to record this screen capture right now it just got really laggy cause I'm moving this but that's it'll download that which is it's called cheese but um yeah that's it so peace